Today, I'm at the biggest tech event in Asia, Computex 2024, here in Taipei. And I'll be covering Innovat. This is where the best of the best startups are showcasing their mind-blowing creativity and innovation. And by the end of the video, we will find out who's the best among the best. This year, there are over 400 startups from more than 30 countries. So one way to identify standout innovation is by checking out the winners of Computex Best Choice Awards. The Best Choice Awards were established to highlight the most outstanding ICT products and serve as a reliable purchasing guide for international buyers. The award covers 15 categories including AI, Big Data, Cloud Computing, Cybersecurity, and Smart City Solutions. Products are evaluated based on three major criteria. Functionality, Innovation, and Market Potential. Winners receive increased publicity, promotional activities, and ceremonies at the event, making it a significant honor for the participating companies. This year, only one startup from Innovex won a BC award, Framework Laptops, which received the Sustainable Tech Special Award. Featured on Linus Tech Tips and Dave 2D, Framework offers two modular laptops. The 13-inch model is perfect for office work, while the 16-inch caters to more gamers and those who want to maximize customability and modularity. On top of being able to choose inputs, bezel, and hardware components like the CPU, SSD, RAM, motherboard, and batteries, the 16-inch model takes it a step further by allowing you to add a GPU and offers more modularity in keyboard and trackpad area. You can install the keyboard on the left, center, or right. If you decide to put it on the left or right, you can install a number pad on either side. The same flexibility applies on the trackpad. For me, I I never really like laptops because of its limited upgradability. But with framework, this could be the last laptop you ever buy. Typically, if any components go faulty on your laptop, you have to either get the whole thing repaired or replace the entire laptop. Or if your laptop is getting old, there is no way to upgrade it but to buy a new one. But with framework, if anything goes faulty or a component is outdated, an easy replacement is all you need. Unfortunately, Framework isn't available in Singapore yet, but I did ask how they decide which country to expand to. Here's Marisa, Head of Marketing at Framework, had to say. We do have a waitlist where anyone can go find their country on the list and basically register interest. One of the right. ways we pick which countries to go into is we look at that waitlist and we say, ah. how many people are waiting for us? So I recommend if you're interested, Go find the country you're interested in, go find Singapore and select yeah. it, tell everyone you're interested in. Only when you're interested, they will come in. Yeah. So <laughs> do it so I can get it. The next booth I might have missed if it weren't for the seminars showcasing their innovation. It's AMI, located at the French Pavilion. Think of it like an Apple Pencil, but even better. AMI is using magnets to detect inputs and motion, which opens up a whole new realm of possibilities for precision and interaction. Behind this laptop, it has magnets, but the most important thing is this chip. This has the algorithm, which are not telling me how it works. There's a magnet here. This is a brush, by the way. This is a brush. They calibrate it so that you can actually just... With a brush, you can actually really feel it. And come, come closer, come closer. This is how detailed it can be. If I just whack it, right? Normal. But if I go in, it really feels like you're painting, you know? Pinch it, look. And then if you go, go in deep, and over here, there are probably a few magnets that are preset for the colors as well. So if I just put my brush on the blue, changes color. Put on the red, changes color. Put on the yellow, changes color. All these are just magnets, right? So you can just have it on another computer. This is the same technology, but on like a pad. Graphic designers would be very familiar. The difference is because it's magnet, you can actually just put the magnet on any pens and set it accordingly. So this is blue. So let me write my name. Impressive, right? Red marker. How does it detect red or blue? Morality, north, south, right? And I was like, ah, that makes sense. Until he took the eraser and you erase. Wait, isn't there only two polarities? So I asked him how? Algorithm. So he's not telling me. Maybe it's strength. I'm not sure, but having be able to write on a board, showing it on a Zoom meeting, Google meeting, it's quite a game changer. You write whatever in it. Okay, circle the good, and you, everyone can see it. Another use case is animation. So here is a scene, and the magnet in my hand is the camera. 
And because it's a magnet, I can move around the scene. Around. Okay, so you can see once the technology can't detect the magnet, it goes haywire. But you go closer, and you can see they can go in, can chalking, they chalking, can chalk them. Hello, hello, hello. Another thing that you can do, have this as a torch light. So you can light up the scene, have light here, 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 here. So if you're wondering how you get your hands on this technology, unfortunately, you can. The goal of this company now is to you know sell their patent, sell their technology to a company like Apple. Imagine Apple Pencil having that kind of technology, selling the pencil as a brush. Innovex has been an eye-opener because of all this technology. You don't just see people trying to sell their product, to consumers, they're trying to sell their products to bigger brands, to buy their pattern, to buy their technology. Uh, super cool company, AMI. Open up my mind, uh, let's go to the next one. Another way to find the best booth is by checking out Innovex Top 15. This initiative awards $100,000 worth of prizes to the most innovative startups. This platform provides these startups with visibility and a chance to secure funding and partnership that can propel their growth and development. Here is the list of the Top 15 and I'll feature some of the most interesting ones to me. First is Renitech from Taiwan. They offer energy saving and cost effective baseband chips for 5G ORAN base stations and satellite communications. Their technology significantly reduces power consumption and operational costs, making it a game changer for telecommunication infrastructure. Next, we have Watasumi from Okinawa with their Kappa modular treatment system. This innovative system is designed for water treatment, providing a scalable and effective solution for both industrial and municipal applications. It's modular, it's easily adapted to different treatment needs and capabilities. We had a very nice chat and I did ask what's the difference between his technology and new water. The short answer is new water solved the problem of drinking water in Singapore, whereas his system tackles the problem of industrial waterways that are toxic to the environment. In the ways is for industrial companies to be more responsible with their waterways. And the third is Resender Tech. They have developed the Resender Tech Swerve Drive module, which enhances mobility for robotic and automated systems. This drive module offers superior maneuverability and efficiency, making it ideal for a wide range of industrial and commercial applications. And at the end of Innovex, prizes are awarded to the top companies based on their categories. But before I tell you who won, I would like to quickly feature some booth I personally find interesting. Firstly, there's Energy Square from the French Pavilion. They specialize in contact-based wireless charging, which is more efficient, about 97% compared to true wireless solution, which is about 70%. The founder is even developing a fabric option for their technology, which could revolutionize how we charge our devices. Next is Top School AI. They have developed an AI generative system for schools to help personalize students' learning materials. Teachers input data about students and the AI creates a tailored study plan for each student and subject, allowing for better communication and updates without adding the teacher's workload. Another interesting company is AI for Pets. They offer advanced AI solutions to monitor and analyze the health and behavior of Pets. Using sensors and AI algorithms, pet owners can receive real-time updates and insights, ensuring their pets stay healthy and happy. And that's it for now. Let's get back to the top 15 and see who are the winners. Now for the award ceremony. Renitech won the Smart Mobility Award alongside with $10,000 US dollar. They also earned the opportunity to join the Intelligent Transportation Experimental Field Project in Danhai, New Town, also known as D-City. Watasumi took home the Future Star Award. This includes the organizers' resources and matchmaking with VC judges. And the grand prize winner went to Taiwan Polymer Material Company. They also won three other special awards. Unfortunately, I didn't manage to meet the team, but let me tell you more about why they won. Taiwan Polymer Material Company 
was recognized for their RESG rubber technology, which transforms waste tires into high-value recycled rubber. This innovation addresses the critical need for sustainable recycling, significantly reducing environmental waste. The success of their company at Innovex highlights the importance of sustainable innovation and the potential for startups to have a significant environment impact. And with that, thank you so much for sticking around till the end. Even though I was at Innovex as media, learning about these startups has been truly inspiring. If you are an investor or someone interested in this startup ecosystem, Innovex is definitely the place to be. The support and opportunities at Innovex are incredible for growth and innovation. And now, I hope you have a few more minutes to spare because I'll be ending the grand prize winner's speech. You can see how much this means to him and all the hard work finally paid off. Thanks once again. Don't forget to like this video, comment which startup you think was the best or if there's any startups that you want me to cover. Other than that, I'll see you next time and I'm done. Thank you guys for giving us a chance. This has been a long time for 20 years. I've been working for 25 years until now. 我我也没有料到我有今天，但是我知道这个技术对未来会有很大的帮助。那一路走来，我很感谢在北过我的老师、我的同仁，我一路上遇到很多贵人，也能够有今天在我的 partner 他们张张兆雪先生愿意在这个过程里面跟我。一起打拼，从 Tree Award 一直到 Innovest， 我很感激，也感激在场所有的评审委员跟贵宾，让我们奇妙水，世界的台湾 ，EPMC 人民 ，Congratulations！